Good afternoon again Dutch bike blogger and probably for part two of a longer bike ride. It's Friday February 26th 2021. 20 minutes before two in the afternoon. Nice weather. 11 degrees. Wind chill factor so there's some wind. 3 bow 4. And currently on the Zenneke area, Zenneke campus area actually. Just finished lunch, I stopped somewhere and had some lunch. And now decided to continue. The street is actually called the Kadijk. Syncom has changed its name to Simarus, not sure why, but it's changed. Like I said, finished lunch, had some bread with some pate on there. Little pate with and a small bottle of Coca Cola with me, and had some sip from that. A little bit of wind at the moment, headwind. Also another construction site here. That side. This is called the Professor Eilkensweg. <coughs> I've been a patient center. And actually this area is getting more filled up with buildings. Only money enough to build something. To construct companies getting here in this area needing a building and actually it's constructed for them hmm. I'm on the road where I actually should have been on the bike lane but well let's move over to the bike lane as soon as we can First possible moment. Sign indicating bike lane. Let's go on here. And move over to the bike lane. Because there was somebody walking and don't want to bother pedestrians, not in their area, because it is a pedestrian path or a footpath. People are walking or are able to walk in here. Of course I'm able to bike on here too, but not meant for it. Just a little bit nicer to do so, so why not? 
as long as I'm not bothering people with my bike, I'm probably safe. Well, the bike lane to my left already went to a different direction. It turned left and stopped actually. And then you have to continue over the road, so it's a good way to go here. Quite hard bike lane. Looks to be concrete or something or gravel, but quite compacted. Easily accessible by bike. really have to get off the bike lane or the put path because it was a well a drop off well a while back I was here when it was snowy actually a pile of snow was here Nothing like it anymore. Snow is gone and what stayed behind is some muddy well road sides, shoulders, road shoulders, the muddy bike lane is of course in order, very much okay, but I think when I leave the bike lane I will be stuck in the mud. I'm not going to try. It only will lead to failure. And failure is not an option. Well, nice area to cycle in. Should be not too busy. I hope. There's one cyclist in front of me. Actually not in a hurry. What I am experiencing by the way is a small rattle in my chain. Maybe it has to be tightened a little bit. Or maybe there should be put some oil on there. But for now, not going to change anything. Uh, simple, not able to here. I want to tighten the chain. I don't have the gears, uh, the right equipment with me, tools. And if I had to, or have to, had the tools with me, I'm not going to do it here. Because, well, when you try to repair something, something breaks. Then I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere here. And I do have to walk home. Not a very unpleasant thing to happen. So let's not do that and just continue. Taking a turn here to the right. Again onto the Professor Elkensweg. Crossing the right deep to my left and right. Right and left. You will get the idea. Let's roll down. Not pedaling, just coasting.
much cars in this area. I probably have to pick up the children from school or something. But one car just skipped in front of me. When I was a car driver, I would have waited, but well, the car driver probably thought, let's go, let's don't wait. And then he had to wait on the center divider behind the other car, so. Not sure what the driver was thinking, but. He did not actually gain very much. Let's see if we can get through here. Should be able by bike. It's wide enough. Not accessible by cars, that's also not what's supposed to be happening. And people can access this back of their houses, actually, can get their bikes out. But yeah, definitely not allowed to get the car in. Actually, you're not able to get it in. A very small car, maybe, but a normal car, no way. It was cold. Never heard of it. But now I do, and you did also hear about it. Oxford. Now apparently you have to make a big detour to get over here. Could have been done a little bit different because well the fence is there but could have changed it a little and then people would have way easier to get the bikes across. Now they have to, including me, have to go over the mud. It's hard on mud by the way, but still. Could have done a bit, could have been done a bit, a little, a bit, a little, little, a little bit different. Gee, sounds like I'm drunk. I'm not, by the way. Tongue twisters. And for me, English is not my first language. It's actually my second. First language is Dutch, of course. And it's easier to talk Dutch than English, so I do have to think about what I'm telling you and saying what I'm talking about in English. And sometimes I butcher things up, as you've noticed. I'm sorry. By the way, except for Dutch, English, I also do, I'm able to speak that uh, German and very well understand it. Goedemiddag. Little man walking on the street, on the street, probably with his grandma. Grandma running about after the child. Let's get it off the street.
I was very slow actually, so I thought to myself, let's not whoosh by and hit in any way the child. And it's not something I'm well hoping for. It's child's children cannot help that they well do things they do. They are too young to even know that they're in danger. And that age, you're four or five years old or so. Yesterday or Wednesday, a little child in the city of a small village of Hogesand was run over. The child was four years old, was apparently running after a ball that got on the road, was hit by a car. Sadly, did not make it. And the car was driven by an 18 year old without a driver's license. Man, ruining the life of the children, the parents, but also in the same way, ruining your own life. But like I said, it's way worse for the parents. And apparently this is a dual bike lane so I can go both ways. Let's do so. Yeah arrived at Right Deep Haven. Sport prediction it will be busy there. Very new car, 45 km an hour car. We call it a car, but actually it's a Dutch Brommobiel. Actually, you can drive in these cars 45 km an hour the same way you can drive a moped. Well, the right deep half and let's do a little circling around so you can actually see the nice houses here nice colorful houses the pigeon the water the boats and the area here 